it's your girl, it's your cousin, it's your homie. I'm T, the Purposeful One, here live at the Blythe Dennis Heartbreak EP Listening Party. And I'm here representing Food for the Soul with the Fat Girls. I just wanted to ask Blythe a couple of questions before she goes on stage, guys. So I don't want to make it seem rushed, but I know that she has to get up there and do her thing. So Blythe, tell us, what is the story behind your second album? Well, the story behind this is all about love and heartbreak. Okay. So, uh, I didn't really realize until after I put the track listing in order and everything that it was about a person, oh, uh, a particular okay. person who I was in love with. And it's just talking about the highs and lows, um, situationships, that seems to be everybody's favorite yeah. song. But yeah. just talking about love and lust and, and being in a situation where you love somebody and there's no title. Yeah. And the emotional strain you put on yourself. Yeah. You, and you do put it on yourself. But you kind of know what you're getting into. But, yeah. Okay. Well, how exciting is it to actually... How exciting is it? And there's somebody here that's just trying to give her a hug. And somebody recognize her. Hey, that's great. That's great. That's great, though. Really? <laughs> that's great. Oh, Look at it. Really? Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. Like Bonnie and Clyde, I love the thing that you got my side from sunset to sunrise. You got a real one that's ready to ride. Better recognize. I appreciate you guys being here, and we're gonna rock out. That's what we gonna do. If y'all wanna come up closer to the front, you know you can. <laughs> or you can sit down. Whatever. So, Sorry. so Blythe, how is it? How is it doing? How was your second album different from your first album? Well, the first album it was really talking about just me navigating, trying to be an artist, and okay. trying to, you know, dealing with the pressures of life and trying to get my music out. And all of that. But with this album, it actually has a theme. And I really kind of channeled Lauryn Hill with the uh, antidotes in between the songs. Okay. So this one is more complete than the last one, I'd say. Okay. It, it definitely follows a certain flow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about the, um, did, did you write everything on there? Yeah, I did. Wrote? Did you produce, arrange everything yourself? No, did? I didn't okay. arrange. Uh, my producer, Anton, with Mavtones Productions okay. is who. Shout out to Mavtones. Me. Right, okay. shout out, to, big shout out to Mavtones. Uh -huh. Without him, this would not exist. So I have to thank him a million times for that. And also I had some help arranging um, with Lawyer. Okay. This is his name. He's a phenomenal gospel artist. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women. <laughs> I have been jamming her album, so you guys, we are going to let her get to it. We are so excited to be here representing her, and good luck on your show tonight. Thank okay. you. We already know this will never work in the end. Feelings might get hurt if we both keep it real.